Hi guys, how are you? My name is Grant. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, and also welcome to my first video. That's pretty exciting. Uh, I will say, if you do continue to follow me on here, you'll be noticing that there is kind of a trend with the content that I am posting. Uh, I really, really, really want to get into the film industry, so what better than reviewing uh, movies and TV shows? And hey, if you guys are into it, I can also do trailers for you. Um, but yeah, so let's just jump right into it. For my first review that I will be doing, um, it's going to be on Waves, uh, which was made last year, um, the end of last year, I think it was back in November. Um, I bought it on iTunes last night and I watched it and it was absolutely phenomenal. So Waves was directed by Trey Edward Schultz, um, and, I've, and I know that he's directed a few other movies. Um, the one that I am aware of is It Comes at Night, which I've actually started but I haven't completed, um, which I am going to have to do that, especially since I did like this movie so much. Um, I see he did two other movies, um, which I have not heard before, but I will have to look into due to the fact that based on Waves, it was such a human experience that I was entirely intrigued by. And what I say by that was, I'm sure that a lot of other people can relate to this, and I promise I hate spoilers so I will not give any away. However, um, it was, when I say that it was a human experience, I mean that it's something that people I'm sure could relate to. Um, there's some big things that have happened, some horrible things, um, also some great things that have happened, um, which it was so raw, it was so emotional, and I will have to say Trey Edward Schultz did a phenomenal job at encapsulating this family that you follow. I believe they're in the suburbs of Miami. He did a phenomenal job at getting the most out of the characters or the actors um, that he used in this film. I know that the main actors are Sterling K. Brown, um, Kelvin Harrison Jr., Taylor Russell, Alexa Demi, which this is actually the second thing I've seen her in. The first thing I saw her in was Euphoria, which a lot of you, if you do watch this movie and if you have seen Euphoria, um, it's kind of an exciting thing since she was one of my favorite characters. Absolutely astounding cast. Uh, they did exactly what they needed to do, in my opinion. A24 uh, Studios produced this film, and I have to say, they've done it yet again. Um, in 2019, they were killing it with a whole bunch of films. They were doing, they did The Farewell, they've done The Lighthouse, they did Miss Summer. Um, I believe they did In Fabric, which I still have to watch. Um, they did Euphoria, we cannot forget Euphoria. One thing that I find to be interesting about this movie was that there were honestly two main characters. Uh, and I would say that, and like I said, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, however, this major thing happens in the middle of the movie and the main characters sort of switch and I honestly really appreciated that because I honestly wasn't expecting it. Another thing I want to add was the cinematography in this film was absolutely impeccable. Um, not only were camera movements interesting, however the colors were so gorgeous. Um, a lot of reds, pinks, blues. Uh, it was so captivating because it it, it it reminds you of kind of like a music video, but a very emotional music video, um, if that makes any sense. Uh, the soundtrack was good too if we're talking about music. This film really, really appealed to me, unlike other films that I've seen recently. It was just so well done and that's why I have to hop on here to let you guys aware of it if you haven't seen it. If you have seen it, um, of course, let me know in the comments. I would love to read your opinion, if you liked it, if you hated it, um, if you were okay with it, um, you know, to each their own. I really, really liked it. You know, I actually did read reviews on the movie because, I mean, with every movie that I watch or TV show, I like to read reviews to make sure that I'm not wasting my time, essentially, uh, which actually, you know, on Rotten Tomatoes, it got 83% by the critics, it got 81% by the audience, so, Safe to say, I'm not the only one who really enjoyed this, um, and I hope you guys too. There are very much so character arcs um, that are extremely prevalent and evident uh, in the movie, uh, which I, which that does make the movie. However, I really enjoyed seeing those arcs. I like seeing the uh, behavioral changes in these characters, and it was extremely believable. 
It really was. And so honestly, across the board, I think um, everyone did an amazing job. The acting was impeccable. The emotions were very well felt and the directing was just on point. So please guys, give this a shot. Um, give my uh, video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel as well. That way you'll be able to see all of the content that I'll be posting in the future, which I can assure you there will be much more. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.